Pastor Crone, you wanted to make some more comments about predictive policing, which I raised in the last segment. Yeah, basically, that's your big brother society on steroids. Yeah. Could that lend back again into the Revelation 13 scenario where the false prophet and antichrist micromanage the planet? Uh, certainly so. And with AI specifically, you couple with what we left off last time with basically everything being monitored and controlled. Well, now what they're saying, well, don't worry about it. AI will use all that information that is being gleaned on us in real time, and it's here for our good. In fact, there's already an AI that is developed by China, and it's, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's Tianhe, T-I-A-N-H-E-2. It's a supercomputer, it's an AI. And listen to what they say this thing is already doing. See, a lot of people say, well, well Google's not really doing that, monitoring all the emails and all that. Well, listen to what they said. It understands all languages and the definitions of all words. It contains an encyclopedia on every subject known. It holds patents, schematics, and designs for every invention. It possesses all registered corporations and businesses and a current GPS location on Earth. It contains all the books, newspapers, published papers, and recorded names, phone numbers, physical, and email addresses of every person. It also collects news events as they transpire throughout the world in real time. It receives every Facebook entry, Google search, all tweets, emails, and cloud entries simultaneously as the metadata and the traffic analysis is connecting the dots and filling it in instantly. It said its capabilities are so vast and so quick that um, it has the ability to foresee the future. Well, wait a second, foresee the future? Well, that's the latest thing that's happening. They're saying, don't worry, yes, this is crazy, big brother on steroids, but we're going to protect you with this. And you know what we're going to be able to do? We're going to be able to even predict crimes before they even happen. Now you're going, well, wait a second, this sounds like another Hollywood movie. Mm. You're right, Minority Report with Tom Cruise. Only in that movie, they used a human mind to predict the crimes. They are going to use an AI mind. And it's already here. There's different versions. Let me give you just one. One's called PredPol, which is basically a shortened form of predictive policing, PredPol. And basically, this AI takes all this data that's being amassed on us in real time, and it puts little pink boxes, okay, in the areas of a society or a city that they believe is potential crime based on all the information that it acquires from people. And in fact, listen to this. It's already, believe it or not, quote, in the foothill area of Los Angeles. How many people knew it was even here, let alone already in play? And of course, they say, well, don't worry about it, because since we've put this predictive policing AI system in place, property crimes have fallen 12% compared to the previous year. They're also doing the same thing with the same technology in England. And again, this is being connected with, quote, sensors and CCTVs, all the television cameras going up all over the place, okay? And they're saying that this thing is here to save us. So don't worry that everything you're doing is completely being monitored and uh, in the public, uh, electronically, with the media, social media, emails, phone calls. Don't worry, because AI will be our new savior. It, it's for your good. But I will quote that basically what <laughs> one entity said about this same technology, and uh, we talked about this before, but basically they said, quote, we don't have long to act. Once this Pandora's box is open, it will be hard to close. Mm -hmm. We were talking a little bit earlier about uh, this home invasion type thing that's going on, and you kind of got into it, Eric, and we got sidetracked just a little bit. And I wanted well, to go back to it for a few minutes here while we still have time, because you had some fascinating information. You're actually writing an article, and I'll give the, your website here, but talk to us for just a minute about it. Well, I think from uh, what I heard from uh, from Pastor Billy at the end of the first segment, that my article is going to be a summary of the stuff he's already done in 14 hours, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, what he was saying is literally his sentences, but the exact same thing that I'm writing on, and uh, not heard any of his material before or watched that series. And it's stunning what's happening. Not only are our phones monitoring devices going the other direction, just not for our benefit, but can be used the opposite way. What uh, what Pastor brought up about advertising that, that pops up as soon as we do a search, I also have reports from people that I believe are very credible who are telling me that things they have discussed and not searched for suddenly ended up on their phones mm -hmm. as advertising. Now that tells me they're listening. And when I say they, there are not people with headphones on over at Google headquarters listening. 
This is all done with computers, with keywords, with algorithms. It's a way to advertise. Right now, it's all about money. And Google Home and Amazon Echo, and those are two small gadgets yes. or units that mm -hmm. you can put in your home, do kind of the same things, many of the same things. Set your lights, heat. As soon as you are coming home, they make sure that the house is open for you, the burglar alarm is off, all those kind of things. That stuff, that's the convenience part. That shows maybe partially that uh, we're, we're just kind of lazy. We want somebody else to do it for us. We remember when we were kids in the black and white TV shows that they had, that somebody had invented a robot to clean the house. This is that thing, but mm -hmm. it's way, way different than that. This is a little unit sitting on your desk and it's, it's a way really to come into your home. And as I said in the first program last week, you, um, you buy it, you uh, then of course uh, Google or Amazon makes a, a profit on you buying the unit. You bring it home. You think this is going to be great. It's going to do all these things. It'll play any song I want want any time. All I have to do is tell it to do it. I speak in the room. I, I ask, uh, what's the traffic look like? What's the weather like? Should I bring a jacket? It answers all those kind of things. And then what we don't know is it's an information vacuum that's sucking up mm. all the sounds in the room and maybe the sights in the room as well. And countless people around us who ought to know better, just as Billy just said, they ought to know better. They should understand this is going on and they're trusting their privacy to these things. I, I have begun to realize I don't want to walk into a room and have a conversation that I don't want heard by others with my cell phone in my hand. That's a funny thing. I, I've got to somehow, I've got to turn it off. 